Hello everyone, tonight I'm going to be trying out a game that I saw on Steam that I thought looked very interesting. It's called Euro Truck Simulator 2. And what it allows you to do is uh, take control of a basically a trucking company. You start out by yourself and, um, you know, build it up. What I found most interesting about it though was the fact that you get to drive around what seems to be an open world. So that fascinates me because I do like driving games and, uh, you know, who doesn't want to know what it's like to be a trucker, right? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and create a profile. Let's see here. Okay, I'm a male, of course. Picture. Oh, goodness. What do I want to look like? <laughs> Guess we'll go with that. Preferred truck design. Hmm. That looks nice company logo. Let's just go with that. Please enter a company name. Sounds good to me. English, playing module Europe. Ooh, it looks like you might get to have uh, maybe a US module at some point. Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. Select the control method. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'm using a mouse. I think we'll go with simple automatic. <laughs> the game is now configured and you can continue. You can change the configuration later on controller screen and options. So we'll finish the wizard. All right. So now it's loading. Select the city you want to start in. Let's see what's interesting here. Um, I'm kind of a fan of mountains. Try burn. Sure, let's go through the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna go through a tutorial. Music kind of jumps in and out as we're loading. All right. We have some actual scenery being rendered here, so let's continue. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. <laughs> your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a truck driver for hire. All right. Your task is to safely deliver a load of meat to Carrefour Dock and Burn. Your employer is providing you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Okay. So, here I am in my truck. Looks like I use that to steer. Alright, let's see if I can control other things. First thing I want to do is check my graphics real quick. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a graphics tart, so... All right, so press E to start the engine. All right. <clears throat> it says you can use the following keys to move. Throttle, up or W, brake, S, steering left or right, A, D. Okay, so just like a normal MMO or any type of game like that. So go ahead and go. Ooh. All right, so there are other camera views available. See which one suits you best. The interior camera, chasing camera. Top down look. Roof cam. Rear looks like rear driver side cam. Ooh, I kinda like that one. That's normally how I race. And of course the interior one looks like it's Looks like nine just takes you through them all. Ah, interesting. Alright, so Ooh. let's see. Alright, enter, it's time to make your delivery, press F1 to look closer, oop, wrong button. Alright, F1 or pause, pause or unpause game, F2, toggle side mirrors. 
says you have a sat nav called a root advisor available at all times. Root advisor displays your current status and helps you with information about your current job and points you where to go. Oh, so I have a little sat nav down here. So <clears throat> looks like coming from here, so when the game is paused, you can control the root advisor with the mouse. There are also shortcut keys assigned to the most often used functions. Which you can use instantly while driving. The available keys are suggested directly by the road advisor. Current speed gear, feel fatigue, email indicator, time, and money. Contents of currently selected page. Okay. Okay, so F. Um. Huh. CF5. There it is. Alright, so it looks like I'm supposed to go there. So, I'm going to drive my truck. Oop, driving with the mouse. So, oop, I got a green light. So, apparently, I can go as long as that light stays green. Okay. Whoa! Oh, goodness. Ah! Take out a car. <laughs> it looks like I did in the rearview mirror. Took out a car. How about that? <laughs> Apparently, I guess I'm just driving here. Oh, looks like I'm stuck back there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, it says I can auto park. <laughs> Excellent. Even though I hit a car, right? All right, that was a pretty, uh, pretty short tutorial. Kind of lame, actually. So what's going on here? This is your headquarters. <laughs> Looks quite nice. <laughs> All the graffiti on the windows. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Can you even get a truck in there? Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so you, there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. Okay. So I can see my progress. Level zero. Pick your next job. Um, quick job. Um, how far is that? from Bern to Strasbourg. So I guess this, this looks like this is where you pick your jobs. Let's go ahead and select that one. I mean, that's a pretty good run. Okay, it's loading. <clears throat> All right. So we're off. Oh, trying to get out of this tight. Wow. It's a pretty hardcore turn I got to do there in order to get out of here. All right, so we're coming out of the same place we were a moment ago, except now we got a re we have a red light. Got some other trucks going here. And slow it down. Oh, that was a quick stop. Never mind. So that's a little too <laughs> Almost like driving a car for the first time. Stop, go, stop, go. Alright, so I'm at this red light. Oop, now it's green. Fortunately, I'm doing a turn too. Oop. So I'm going to go ahead and turn. That car doesn't hit my trailer. Ooh. Did I smack anything? Ooh, good for me. <clears throat> so here I am driving through town. As you can see, down there on my right-hand corner, there's my sat-nav, so I'm using that to navigate. So I'm going to make a right up here. Just like in real life, I wish these cars would go. Oh, no, I've got a yellow light, and now it's red. Looks like in Switzerland, you can't make a right on red. All right, so I'll sit here for a moment. Look at my dials down here. I have gas gauge it looks like it's halfway full it's 22 degrees Celsius outside so it's, it's pretty warm 
Alright, so we've got a green light now. Come on, go, 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 go. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this turn here. Try not to take too much of the curb. Curb check. So I'm still going here. Ah, stop, stop, stop. Oop. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, I have new mail. What the, whatever that means. Why would I have mail? Alright, so I get I get mail in this game too now, it seems like. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn now. Alright, well I better get out of the middle of the road. I'm sure it's illegal in Switzerland to drive down the middle of the road, so. I haven't seen any cops yet, but then again I haven't driven that far. And I'm not sure I'd know what a cop car would look like in Switzerland right offhand. So it looks like this is 80 kilometers an hour through here. <clears throat> looks like I'm on some sort of a freeway type road, double lane. Looks like I'm leaving Burn because the sign had a, a line through it. Alright, so apparently I've got to get on this slow it down here, freeway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta keep looking at my mirrors to make sure that my trailer's not dragging into the barriers. Alright, so it looks like I'm getting on the free freeway. Okay. That looks like a yield sign. I'm sure it is. Right, so here I go. And going 64 kilometers an hour. I have 178 kilometers to go, it says. 177. Now it says I have two hours and 50 minutes to go, but that, that's ticking down pretty quickly. 49, 48, so I'm going to presume that uh, obviously it's not going to take that long, and maybe these roads aren't as accurate to real life as. Uh, well, as real life, so, but, you know, it's pretty interesting, look at the scenery and whatnot, uh, some hay over there, I saw a windmill just a moment ago, oop, the graphics slow down for a moment there, so here we go, and I'm guessing that this thing has a, uh, oh, oh, yes, I am supposed to go over, ah, oops, ooh, not good, ooh, started staring at the scenery, Ooh, how am I going to get out of this? Oh, man. Hoo-hoo. All right. Gotta do this. I'm sure in real life uh, I wouldn't have been able to come out of that, but uh, that's what games are for, huh? So I'm going to keep going here. And... Looks like, uh, just like in real racing games, or real racing games, <laughs> like in normal racing games, there's, uh, I'm no worse for the wear. So, here I go. Ooh, the wall again. Oh, dad gummit. Ooh, get it off that. Good grief, I'm a terrible driver. Alright, so. It's this mouse, I put my, took my hand off the mouse for a moment there, and, uh, well, you saw the end result. Okay. Engine malfunction. What's that mean? Well, I guess it doesn't mean much, considering that uh, I was able to keep driving. Oops. So I'm going to keep going here. car behind me. Still have 146 kilometers to go. Oops. Whoa. Alright, so here I go. Still going. I can I can say without a fact that or say that this is definitely I, I wouldn't call this just riveting. I'm sure if you've gotten this far in the video, you might be getting a little bit bored. Um, 
I really don't know what I could do to make this any more exciting. Like I said, it's uh, it's, it looks like you just point and drive down the road, and here I am driving. Ah, uh, better slow down. Ah, uh, whoa. Ooh, my engine didn't sound too good there. You know, I think this probably would appeal to people who just want to, you know, kind of relax and play a game that doesn't require a whole lot of, uh, you know, effort. Um, of course, uh, you know, I set this in easy mode, so, it, you know, it very well could get quite complicated in the more, you know, difficult you know, the higher difficulty settings, but uh, in, e in easy mode, this, this is pretty relaxing. You just drive down the road, enjoy the scenery, you know, hit the wall a few times, screw up your engine, but it's okay because it somehow just gets immediately fixed. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm looking on my, uh, on, ooh, can stay on the road, Mike. I'm looking on my uh, sat-nav here, and I'm seeing a lot of, uh, like, rest areas and stuff, so my guess is, is if you're playing this in more difficult settings, ooh, looks like I'm crossing a the border into France. Saw a French flag there, so it looks like I'm in France now. So, that's fascinating. I crossed an international border. Well, anyway, I'm still driving here. Like I said, riveting. Um, hmm. A gas station. I still have some gas. Oh. My gas still looks good, so. I'm sure if I was driving longer distances, I'd have to pay a lot closer attention to that. You know, like I said a moment ago, I, I'm positive, of course, that this doesn't mirror the actual route exactly to, uh, you know, exact to reality. But I, I've got to wonder just how accurate some of this is, if, you know, these interchanges and stuff that I'm seeing here, if they're pretty close to what's really there. I'm also noticing that I think I have a uh, a governor, speed governor, at least on easy mode because I'm I've got the W key pressed down completely here and looks like I'm going about 90 kilometers an hour, so I still have 74 kilometers to go in an hour and 11 minutes. Looks like I took a pretty long uh, journey here. <laughs> Place where I can park, how about that? Just like here in the US. Little rest areas. Okay. Well, there's not much to talk about. There's some cars driving by. I guess we could play car bingo, right? And try to see if we can uh, you know, get a bingo from the cars. I mean, there goes a little hatchback. I'm not sure what it is. I can't see the emblem on it. I don't know every car type by hand or by memory, so I don't think I'd be pretty good at that game. Some interesting scenery. There's another one. Looks like the same car except a different color. It's red. <laughs> low rolling hills it looks like 53 minutes to go counts down pretty quick so 51 50 49 so apparently I'm on the A35 I see another truck ahead of me I wonder what he's got on him what he has gosh don't know might not be able to catch up with him Looks like there's hay over there. Little farm on my right with a little with a uh, wood fence. It's kind of nice. He's got he has logs. Hopefully none of them fly off like in I think it was Final Destination 2 where the truck lost control and all the logs came out and ended up impaling everybody. <laughs> Ever since I watched that movie, anytime I drive down the road, I see a truck with logs or poles or anything. I, I try to get past him or get away from him. You know, it's probably silly, but I'm sure that's what the intention of the uh, 
director was. It looks like I'm going to have to get over here. I don't think I'm going to beat that truck before that exit, so I'm going to go ahead and let him go. Strausburg and Stuttgart. Oh no, Stuttgart is in Germany, so... And where I'm going here is in France. It looks like I can see my destination, because I'm, I'm now only 14 minutes away. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Oop. This guy hasn't quite got up to speed yet either. Oh, I'm in Strasbourg now. Which is where I was going. Where I am going. One thing for sure is, if you like going fast, this is not the game for you. Because you are not going to go fast. Ooh, slow down, slow down. Looks like I make a left to go to Strasbourg. Ooh. I took on some logs there, so go ahead and make my left turn. Come on. Alright, apparently my destination is just up the road here. And I'll be able to drop off this load. Oh, except there's a bunch of traffic. So exciting traffic. Will I get to get up there anytime soon? How long will I have to wait here in queue? Are they going to move at any point? I guess not. No time soon, huh? Ah, there we go. Whoa! Oh, come on. Ah! Stop, go traffic. Looks like I got... I have people behind me, quite a few people. Come on! Uh. Oh goodness. I can see where you could get road rage in this game. Ooh, I've just discovered Strasbourg. How, how fascinating. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I know I'm supposed to turn. I don't care if there's a car coming. I am turning. Ooh, wrong side of the road there. I believe this is my destination. It is. Alright. A garage this garage is available for sale for 180,000 euros. Regrettably you can't afford it right now. Well, regrettably. Um, I thought this was my destination. Oh. So, looks like you can buy garages, and apparently, I don't have enough money for that garage. And also, apparently, I did not. That was not my destination. It's right here. Here is my destination. Alright. Alright, so let's, uh, let's skip delivery. I'm not interested in parking. Well, look at that. Good work. Drove 208 kilometers and used 103.3 liters of fuel. Oh, oh didn't quite make it to level one so there you have it so there was a quick look at Euro Truck Simulator um, I don't know it looks kind of interesting to me I think I'll play it some more um, if it's if you're into racing games might not be fun but I don't know looks kind of fun to me Ooh, my truck has a picture of Route 66 on it anyway thanks for watching um, I'll see about putting up some more videos as I play this a little more maybe it'll get more interesting maybe it won't but again thanks for playing